This is actually crazy. Out of 7,667 companies worldwide, four cost to borrow share rates. Look right here who is at number two. So Alpine Summit Energy Partners is at number one at 1,061% plus cost to borrow. And AMC Entertainment is surely behind at number two at 977.39%. Now it's honestly embarrassing in my opinion for AMC to even be in the list of these names. A lot of these are like pharma penny stocks, things like that. AMC is a real company and a brand that, brand that millions love. But if this doesn't tell us all that something could be right around the corner, I don't know what does. AMC this next week is going to be wild because of the following. Threshold securities list, court case decisions, FTDs for June come out, box office results, bank stress tests, short interest, shares on loan, and of course, the whammy, borrow rate. The cost to borrow has been skyrocketing. Something big is without a doubt brewing whether it's good or whether it's bad, so get ready apes and hold on tight. This is pretty crazy, it says the SEC makes firm pay whopping 27 million to investors, let's check it out. It says the SEC just made a firm pay a whopping 27 million to investors plus interest and performance adjustments after failing to waive fees for years. Pacific Investment Management Company LLC or PIMCO will also pay an additional 9 million to settle two enforcement actions relating to disclosure and policies and procedure violations. In the first section, the SEC found that in September 2014 to August 2016, PIMCO failed to disclose material information to the investors concerning the use of PIMCO Global Stock Plus and Income Funds, of interest rate swap, and the materials impacted of the swap's PGP's dividend. Now, in the second action, the SEC found that from April 2011 to November 2017, PIMCO failed to waive approximately $27 million of advisory fees, as required by its agreement with PIMCO All Asset. Additionally to that, until at least 2018, PIMCO did not have adequate written policies and procedures concerning its oversight and advisory fee calculations and related fee waivers in the SEC press release read. These cases highlight our continued focus on ensuring that firms adequately disclose material information and implement reasonably designed policies and procedures, said Corey S., Co-Chief Enforcement Division Asset Management Unit. PIMCO failed to comply with both of these critical obligations, and they are now being fined because of it. Do you think the SEC, Gary Gensler, is going to start cracking down more from now until the end of this year, or do you think crimes are going to continue to fall into the cracks?